What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. Um, I don't even know what I want the title of this video to be. But more than likely, probably. Um, I don't know. Probably the title going to be probably be I quit. I quit. Now, I don't I don't quit YouTube. Let me just make that clear. But uh, I quit the medical field. I realized I realized yesterday that it it just wasn't for me. It wasn't. Like, yes, I care for people and I love the patients. Don't get me wrong, I love the patients. But it's the emotion the motion that comes with the medical field, you got to have thick skin. And I, I'm not saying I don't have thick skin, but it's like when shit happens in the medical field, you just got to brush it off. Like it didn't happen. And I'm not that type of person. I'm not that type of person in that atmosphere. I can't do that. Like when something tragic happens, I have to show emotion. I have to, I have to be present in that moment with how I'm feeling. I can't just Oh, somebody died. Just brush it off. I can't do that. I cannot do that. God did not create me that way. Like, I'm, I can't do that. Like, yes, I handle death well, but I can't just brush something off like that. That tragic, like it didn't happen. Like, I, I'm not about to go on the tangent, but <laughs> I can't do it. I'm not built for the medical field. I'm not. Yes, I loved learning everything that I learned. I was excited for exams and stuff, but it's like on that floor, it's different. And my preceptor, that's the name of the person that trains you. She was A1. She was, I have no complaints on her. I, chef's kiss to her training me. Okay. She taught me everything that I needed to know. I was ready for the exam, but it's like. I knew deep in my heart that this is not something I can see myself doing for a career. I, I, I don't see it. Not after the emotion that I saw on the, on the floor. Like, I, those patients, bro, like, those patients are depressed. Those patients are irritated, irritable, feeling helpless. I can't deal with that on a daily basis. I can't. I love the I love the patients. I tried. I could get those patients in and off the machine. I was a one. But well, I shouldn't say I can get them in and off the machine, but like I can get them set up to get on the machine. <laughs> I would say in and off the machine. I I ain't get that far. I ain't get that far. Just being real, I ain't get that far. But get them set up to be put on to get their treatment okay <laughs> cool but yeah i'm not built for it i'm not built it's too much it was too much and then i started having my <sighs> i'm just gonna say it i didn't want to say it but i'm gonna say it i started having my depressed moments thinking about my dad again and my head just totally wasn't in it so I talked to my boss and I said, can I do anything else to help out? Like, I don't want to leave the company. So I didn't really like, I didn't quit my job. I'm just looking for an alternative. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to leave the, the company. I just want to leave the role. Like, you can, you can keep that. I want to stay with the company. But I mean, if she can't find me nothing else, I probably have to leave. So... <sighs> Yeah, it just, I tried, I tried pushing through it, but it's like the emotional part. I'm too emotional. Shit, when I was bartending or being a barista, making people's coffee, I got upset when I fucked up somebody's order. In the medical field, bruh, okay, it was like a hundred times that, like, you fuck up something, you could kill someone. And I, I don't want that responsibility. I don't want nobody's life in my hands. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't want that responsibility. I thought I did, but no. No, honey, no. I'm too emotional. I get too attached. I'm an empath. 
energy that somebody else exudes, that's what I receive. And then I start feeling like that, how they feel. I can't, I can't fight it. Like I, whoo. So I didn't quit my job. I just, I'm looking for an alternative for right now. If I can't find an alternative, then I'm gonna leave. But I already got another job lined up. So it don't even matter. Like I can find another job. I'm not even really worried about that. I can find another job if I want one. I'm just, I really haven't had the time to just turn my brain off. Like, I really haven't had the time to really grieve over my dad. Like, yeah, I spent, I spent two months, but that still wasn't long enough. That still wasn't long enough, like I thought. And I just jumped into something that was even more emotionally, you know, emotionally baggaged. And it's like, bruh, like, ugh. I shouldn't have did that. I shouldn't have did that. So I need this time to just chill and just take time for myself. Cause I didn't really grieve. I need to just take time to grieve, to feel how I need to feel. I need a break. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that this weekend. I miss my dad so much, man. I'm going to try not to cry on this video. I feel like I'm going to cry, but I miss my dad so much, bro. And oh my, God. <sighs> my dad did tell me to do something or to try out a job and I just brushed it off but I feel like I'm gonna just I'm gonna pursue that because that is me I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is just yet y'all see in another video I like keeping y'all on your toes if y'all hadn't guessed but like I tell y'all everything but I don't tell y'all everything you know but I'm not gonna tell y'all yet but I know I think I know what I'm gonna do and it's it's so me and I should have did it before but I was like, eh, I can't do that. But I think I'm going to pursue it. Um, like I said, I got two jobs lined up, actually. You know, if they can't find me nothing else. Because I don't want to leave. I love my company. I really do. I don't want to leave my job. You know, I help out any, way, any other way I can. But this role, I can't deal. It's too emotional. Too emotionally draining. I can't. I can't. I can't deal with it. So, I hope she can find me something. If not, oh well. It is what it is. <laughs> Shoot, it is what it is. Um, I was really excited, you know, for exams and stuff. But it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Yeah.